I use regular Vaseline or petroleum jelly. I order powdered sulfur off the internet and I do this just like we did when I was a kid. I sprinkle, sprinkle powdered sulfur in the petroleum jelly, not all the way to the bottom of the jar, just on top so that I have some, always have some good ointment at all times. And um, I use a kid's paintbrush, you know, to apply it. And then I just rinse this out as best I can and keep it in a separate cup to um, keep it, you know, from making a mess. And I put this on wounds. And, you know, if you have a wound that's big enough that you're concerned about proud flesh, you can add a little bit of Preparation H, which causes flesh to go back to where it belongs by um, constricting the blood vessels. That's what Preparation H is designed to do. And if you research a lot of these products, you'll find that they're using the same chemical. People say that they don't want to use chemicals, but if you research the products that are for sale with name brands on them, what they're doing is they're mixing chemicals. Now, in the case of um, this petroleum jelly that I'm using with sulfur, which, by the way, is um, what they used to put on people's wounds in World War II when they didn't always have the medical supplies and it would um, just, it serves as an antibiotic and it, it begins to heal everything up. And um, what they've done now is they've bottled a product called MTG and they've mixed sulfur, the same thing I'm using here with petroleum jelly, but they've mixed it with mineral oil. So if you need something that's a little runnier, that maybe you can spread over a wider area than just a wound, for example, a fungus area like Sunny has had on her rear end, then you can take um, mineral oil and sulfur and mix it together and shake it together and apply it to the fungus. Also spraying either apple cider vinegar or you can actually spray copper sulfate on your, um, you know, a mixture of the blue granules mixed with water and that also will um, send the fungus back in the direction that it came from and eventually off of your horse. And this stuff works. It's much cheaper than buying the name brand products and I've never had it go wrong on my horses. And I've used it for wounds, I've used it for fungus, and um, I'll continue doing so.